My mouth went dry. I don't even know you, so please, leave. But when I said this, he began crying again as he pulled out a knife and pointed it at me. Hey, we're gonna check out a creepy guy who stalked me. Now, it is a midnight drop. I don't know why I put up videos this late at night, but I am. Real quick, I hope everybody's Friday night is late. You know what? Hold on. Blue eyes. He seemed like a pretty nice guy at first, but he gradually started to act weird. He kept following me and seemed to have a strong obsession with me. One of my friends, Callum, saw my discomfort, so he said, Quit it, man. Don't be a creep. John looked back at Callum, and the look in his eyes made my skin crawl. Why? She's mine. What he said was kind of creepy, so I called my dad to come and get me. Callum stayed with me while I was waiting for my dad at the front of the house. He's watching us. Callum told me and my body went stiff. Here, hold my hand. If he thinks we're together, he might give up. So I held his hand, and then a loud shout of anger came from behind us. We both looked, and John was headed straight towards us. I was getting really worried. He looked like he was going to hit Callum. But just then, my dad arrived. So I grabbed Callum's hand and we ran to the car. As soon as we both jumped in, I explained everything to him. When we dropped him off at his house and returned home, I was leaning over my bed and about to go to sleep. And then I heard the front gate open. When I looked out the window, to my horror, John was sneaking into our yard. Dad got mad when I told him this, so he grabbed his baseball bat and went straight outside. But when he came back after a while, he was frowning. He said you left your jacket. When I got my jacket, a small piece of paper fell out of my pocket. Dad picked it up and opened it. You're mine, Michelle. A few weeks passed. That experience had made me and Callum really close, so we started dating. <sighs> One day, while we were watching a movie at the theater, I really had to go to the toilet. I rushed to the bathroom to avoid missing too much of the film. On my way back, at the door of the theater, John was there. He looked furious and was actually crying. Then he rushed towards me and said, How could you do this to me? I was baffled. I haven't done anything to you. He just stood there, stared at me, so I rushed back into the theater and told Callum what was going on. We left the theater immediately. I was pretty nervous about what happened, but I also thought everything would be alright soon. However, I was totally wrong. A few days later, I was in my backyard working on my art project when I heard sobbing. I turned around and John was there, holding a small container of medication in his left hand. My legs began to tremble as he moved closer to me. Why are you here? I asked him. I missed you, Michelle. I've been following you nearly every day. Are you with Callum just to make me jealous because it's working? But no, you are wrong. As John began smiling, my mouth... <coughs> I screamed and began running towards my back fence. But before I reached it, he caught my shirt and pulled me to the ground. He held the knife to my cheek and then yelled, I love you, Michelle. Nobody else can have you. You're mine. I was horrified, and tears were rolling down my face. Get off her! All of a sudden, my dad, who was gardening outside, quickly ran towards us. He beat him up with a bat and then tied him up with a rope he got out of his shed. And I heard John mutter, I thought you were alone. Once my dad made sure I was alright, he called the police and Callum. John began laughing like a maniac and yelled out in anger when he was arrested. I kissed her. She's mine. Mine. Later, we got a phone call from the police and it turned out that he was high on drugs and his room was full of pictures of me as well as a diary describing plans to kidnap and murder me. After that, John was sentenced to jail for seven years. 
I'm 22 now, and Callum and I are still together. We've just moved to the city together recently. I have deleted all social media, but I'm still in fear. We are two years away from the date John will be released. And I know that one day in the future, John will likely come looking for me again. Bro, that shit is creepy. Imagine that. Wait. Imagine the things a female gotta go through. Hey. If she says no, she say no. Look, move on. It ain't you, it's her. She is not the girl for you. Cause you don't wanna do what those dudes do. Catch a predator. Matter of fact, speaking of catch a predator, we're gonna have to check out that on the next video. So if you guys enjoyed this, smash that like button. Yeah, I said it. Or for those of you guys who wanna be particular, just click the like button, okay? And subscribe, click the bell for more videos like this. I'm out.